Hey guys, what's going on? Brian back with another video and today we will be going over the new State of Decay 2 Outpost Overhaul mod created by Zero himself. Zero has joined me today. He's helped me set up the uh, all the outposts that I will be showcasing. We'll be going over all of the new functions um, and features that have been added to make outposts more interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So let's get into it guys. All right, guys, so the first outpost we're going to get into will be the food outpost. Now, the first thing I want to go over is the cost. So now the cost for a food outpost, as you can see, requires 1,500 influence and 10 materials. So that is what you're going to need just to build the outpost. Now, on top of that, it's going to cost labor for you to run the outpost. I wanted to make it so... Um, it's more realistic, like to run these food outposts, you actually have to have somebody from your community there to operate it. So you're going to lose labor, which is going to add another level of complexity to the game. This goes for all the outposts. Some of them require more labor than others, depending on how much stuff is in them. But for uh, the meantime, yes, you're going to you're going to lose labor out of your base to maintain these outposts, which is going to make it so you can't have, you know, maybe six super great outposts and still try to build huge things back at your base. You might have to call people back from the outpost, shut those down, get people back, do the big projects. So it's going to take a lot more managing, guys. Late game, this won't really be an issue. Once your base is fully maxed out, you, 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 you labor is not really a thing. But um. This is going to be, this goes for all the outposts. So you're going to have the new influence cost, the new materials cost. Um, you have the stuff on the top, which is the regular base, basic uh, outpost things where you can swap your characters, you get the locker, um, you get your food a day. But as you can see here, guys, those three little icons are going to allow you to produce food and meds, convert food into fuel, and um, there's the, the last one is the extra food that you're going to gain we'll go over these more in depth here right now all right guys so like we were talking about before the first outpost is food we're going to get into depth on what all of those functions do so as you guys can see here we have the baseline food um production that this is our additional food um and then but if you come over here and you look uh we actually get too. So we get one from the outpost itself and then we get one from our additional function that I added because I felt that the outpost and this goes for all of them only giving one of the resource a day just didn't really feel like that interesting. You know what I mean? Like you would go out and you would spend this influence to get this building that would only give you one of a resource a day, which I just didn't feel like it was very impactful. So the baseline overhaul for every single Outpost guys across the board is going to be plus one of or plus two of every resource Now to get into the actual uh, Overhaul itself. So food outpost will now give you uh, the ability basic kitchen um, Functionalities guys. I don't know if you guys remembered me speaking about this in my state of the K3 wish list But this was kind of one of the things I wanted from state of the K3 to make outpost more interesting and useful so as you can see here guys we have make and produce food items and this is with an outpost guys so you would literally come up to your outpost click and uh look at right here guys you can make and produce food um so as you guys see i don't have a kitchen in my base but now with this i can at least craft snacks coffee and this type of stuff if i had um you know the necessary skill requirements to go along with it but this will give you this function, even without having a kitchen in your base, just for going and claiming a food outpost that might have a kitchen built into it. Um, you can convert food into fuel. And obviously you can shut down the outpost if you want. So that is the um, stuff that you'll be able to gain from a food outpost, guys. All right, guys. So now we're moving into the material outpost. Now, as you guys can see, the cost on the material outpost is a lot more than the other one. This is 3000. So you guys are probably, wow, that's really expensive. The functions I believe that the material outposts have are a little on the uh, stronger side compared to, let's say the uh, food outpost or the med outpost. Um, I, I feel like it's kind of good. So we made it a little bit more expensive and harder to come by. Um, 
costs 3,000 and 16 materials to set up. Then once you get it set up, as you guys can see, it's going to give you workshop functionality, which is super good. Um, and then you're going to be able to, to repair weapons. You're going to be able to convert materials or parts into materials. And it gives you an extra material resource a day. All right, so let's get into this material outpost, guys. Now, obviously, material outpost, like I said, now you're going to be gaining the plus two materials a day. It also costs labor. Um, but for those guys who don't have space in your base, uh, early game, late game, whenever, to build a workshop to be able to craft. This is only a level one workshop, guys. So this is not going to replace building um, a workshop at your base. Like, don't think that this is a replacement. This is kind of just... A, if you're not a person who really needs a workshop or needs a kitchen, you just need the basic, some basic functions, that's what this is going to be. So here it's going to give you all the functions of a level one workshop. You can craft um, and uh, these explosives, um, box mines, you can craft firecrackers, bolts, and you can produce ammo. Um, that's what this function will give you. Here you can repair all of your weapons so this is a very important function of the workshop now you can get without even having a workshop guys um and then you can salvage uh your weapons and you can salvage weapon remains and then here's uh, another big one guys you can convert parts into materials now this is one of the really big functions uh that make the material outpost so good Granted, up front, you're going to have to spend a lot of materials to build this place. But once you invest in it, guys, and you get it set up, you're going to have a place that you can go to and gen just produce materials, guys. Um, here you get eight materials, uh, and it uses fuel to convert parts into materials. So as long as you got the parts, the 360 parts, two fuel, one labor, and the knowledge of construction, guys... After the 10 minutes is, goes by, you'll be getting a whole bunch of material. So this, I believe, make the material outpost a lot better. Being able to really generate materials on top of the, the passive two materials you're going to be gaining a day. So that's why this material outpost is a lot more expensive. It's kind of a powerhouse uh, outpost. I believe it's really good. So I hope you guys, let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. So next, let's move into the medical now, the medical is 1,500 to claim, 10 uh, materials to build. You get the basic stuff that it obviously gives you. And on top of this, you're going to be able to craft medical supplies. And you're going to be able to, it's going to produce the extra meds. Now, the reason why we limited the med outpost so much is because this is one that can easily become extremely overpowered and make the infirmary completely useless minus the, the beds. So this one is not as... Uh, powerful, but let's get into it. All right, guys. So medical outpost. Um, like I was saying, this isn't a super powerhouse outpost. Um, it's just to give you basic medical um things that that you if you don't have an infirmary, but most of us will have infirmaries. Um, this will be probably. But the good thing is, like I said, it still produces two meds a day. Um, it will just give you an extra uh place to craft things, really. But if you guys don't have a medical facility, um, look into getting one of these guys. Like I said, you produce two meds a day and uh, there's no med cost. So I guess that that could be the be the thing is you're not losing medicine a day if you have one of these. Compared to if you build an infirmary, you're going to be losing two meds a day. But the infirmary has things that this obviously doesn't have. So let's get into it. Building the, Getting the med out outpost will give you the ability to craft all of this. You'll be able to craft your plague cures, obviously, and you'll be able to craft the enhanced plague cure. Um, obviously, everything costs water. Um, the enhanced plague cures are really, really expensive. These are not so expensive. But um, as you guys can see, you get all the basic um, infirmary caught things, and you can still produce meds. So uh, it turns it into a little bit of a medical you know, production powerhouse. You can produce up to three meds. Um, if you're using this function and, uh, you could do that four times, four to five times in a state of decay day, uh, maybe even six times. I think a state of decay day is 90 minutes. So you can, uh, really pump out six meds there plus your two. So you can pump out quite a bit of meds from, uh, this new outpost. And like I said, you get your functions to craft up some additional stuff guys. So let me know what you guys think. 
All right, guys. So here we go. This is another one. This is the ammo outpost, and this one was very hard to balance also because this one could have... If you make it too powerful, it can make so many different things in the game just pointless and irrelevant. So game balance was always the like top priority when it came to designing these outposts. Now, as you guys can see, this one's quite expensive itself. It's 2,000 um, 2, influence plus uh, 10 materials to build. Uh, gives you your regular stuff and then allows you to craft certain ammo types. So let's get into it, guys. All right, guys. So now picking and choosing... the ammo types was very uh zero went ahead and did this he did an amazing job um but like i said you get your plus two ammo a day for having the outpost and it allows you to craft these bullets guys so if you go and you look at a lot of the outposts especially ammo outposts they have um in the back rooms and stuff they have weapon presses ammo presses all that stuff just as like decorations so i figured if you're in a gun shop that has all this stuff in it you might as well be able to craft something it just makes sense it makes the outpost more useful more interesting um so on top of the plus two ammo you can craft ammo or produce ammo so this will give you if you have this plus a workshop plus a, a materials outpost you can produce up to three ammo guys all at once just boom so you can really get on producing a lot of stuff granted it's going to cost you a lot of stuff but um so the ammo types that we have in here guys are 22 9 mil 357 556 five, and shotgun so it didn't go it didn't make the pistol presses or the ammo presses irrelevant you still need um an ammo press if you want to craft uh 45 um, you still need the Magnum Press if you want to uh, craft the 44. You need the Heavy Ammo Press to craft um, the 50 cal and the grenades. And you still need the Rifle Ammo Press in order to craft 762. But having this ammo outpost gives you these baseline things that you can craft um, at the cost. You know what I mean, guys? So I, I thought this was really, really cool. Um, it's not super overpowered. It doesn't make the Warlord Armory irrelevant. It doesn't make anything irrelevant. And that's what I think I like the most about it. So this is a really big one. You guys let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. Now, last but not least, um, for the main part of the overhaul is the safe house. Now, these outposts were some of the most pointless outposts. They were really good for if you needed a couple extra beds. Um, but that's about it. Uh, I used to use these to bounce around the map and, you know, swap characters and stuff. But as you guys can see, they cost a thousand um, to build plus six materials to build. So that's your cost. You get your normal stuff, um, but then you get a new function. This one, guys, will give you four beds. It's going to add as a, a act as a bunk house. So um, instead of only giving you plus two beds, it's going to give you plus four. And we'll get into this other feature here right now. All right, guys. So here we go guys the safe houses now this is really really cool guys so obviously like i said you get plus four beds which automatically makes them better um they they act as there's a lot of rooms in that house i don't understand why you only get two beds so we get plus four beds for the house um and now guys we got this function right how right here that makes safe houses so awesome um zero came up with this idea it was so great when me and him were brainstorming on ways to make outposts better this is called safe house scavenge looking for stuff now what you do is you click on this guys you come it's a uh, safe house scavenge uh safe house score the area so this is what it is guys it's the scavenge option so what you do is you click this when you, it's going to cost you four ammo because you're going to be sending your people out to find resources it's going to cost three people, as you guys can see. You're going to send three of your people from your base. So during this time, you're going to lose three labor. Um, as you guys can tell, the this mod, um, this part of the mod is making it so labor is a little more of a thing. Something that you actually have to manage. you got to manage the people in your base. Having more people in your base will allow you to run more things. Um so on top of that, guys, you're going to send your people out, send community members out to gather resources. It's going to cost you to four ammo. It's going to cost you to three people. And as you guys can say, an hour and a half to do. Um, that makes it so you can't just spam this over and over and over again. You know what I mean? Because that would be overpowered. So we capped it um, to pretty much once a day. You'll be able to use this. Now what happens, you'll send them out. They'll get 30 parts. 
two of every resource except ammo. You'll get 50 prestige and 100 influence. Um, so I thought this was a really, really cool option, guys, to, you know, just send, use your people in your base. You know what I mean? Like, make use of the labor. Get people out there doing stuff. Um, I thought this was just really, really cool. So this gave the safe house, I believe, one of the coolest features, I believe, in this whole entire overhaul mod. Um, other than that, to the uh, outpost for electricity and the outpost for water, um, I felt like those have always been extremely overpowered and very, very cheap. Um, so to make those a little harder to acquire, we increased the price to 5,000 influence. So it's not something you can just go out and get, no problem. You actually have to work up, go um, spend a ton of influence up front to get that electricity. And then on top of that, you have the plus two fuel a day to maintain those places, plus um, the labor costs. So as you guys can tell, labor is a lot. Right now as a brand new community with only three people, I have all of these outposts. As you can see, I'm at negative two on labor. Um, but that will make the hero bonuses that give you extra labor, the enclaves that give you extra labor um red talons that give you extra labor like there's a lot more management now guys that you got to really take into consideration when it comes to building up uh these outposts and taking advantage of this stuff so um that's it guys for this this is included in my dark side mod you guys won't see it within the first you know eight or so episodes because i already pre-recorded those before this part of the mod was finished but right now, this will be included in the Dark Side mod, which hasn't been released to the public yet. Um, we are still obviously working on it. Um, but I just wanted to showcase and see what you guys thought about this. Uh, let me know, guys, down in the description below what you guys think about this. And if there was anything we could have done differently or any cool ideas maybe you guys have going forward. Uh, one of the outposts we didn't do was fuel because there really wasn't any functions we could add to a fuel outpost. Um, but they do give the plus two fuel a day. So that is the one thing we have going for fuel. But I appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.